DSS Bad Billions to eliminate Nam the Kano through ear surgery. Hello, viewers, welcome to my channel. Today, I want every beer France and those who believe so much in freedom to understand it. That the plan against Namde Kano after Buhari tried everything to eliminate him, but he did not succeed. Is now growing more. Their friends should understand that Nande Kano has been set free by a court of law in Nigeria. Several courts have set him free after Buhari government went all the way to Kenya to adopt him illegally and brought him back to Nigeria. They kept him in custody for so long before they started bringing him to court. They tortured him both physically and spiritually because they want him to break down. They did everything possible to eliminate him. But they could not succeed. As usual, Buhari refused to release him after the competent court of law has set him free. Tarani. Buhari left office after the end of his tenure without discharging a man. That a court of law has discharged. Rather, he left him in the hands of Bola Ametinibu. This was why they did everything possible to fight for Muslim Muslim ticket. If you do not know, I am letting you know right now that these people are planning the elimination of Namde Khan through ear surgery. Some of you may say. It is not true. Some may say, what are you talking about? But you have to wake up because you are still sleeping. Their friends should grow up and stop behaving like a boy. The you should first of all ask yourself this question. A government that paid several billion and five hundred Every month to make sure that a man was adopted from Kenya and brought back to Nigeria, to make sure that all powers stay clear and look the other way, why they continue to torture and frustrate a freedom fighter just to make sure they break him, to see if he can denounce a struggle. That he admires so much. What makes you think that the info I just got about the plan of his elimination through ear surgery is not the truth? We should wake up. Anybody contemplating in using DSS doctors to carry out an ear surgery on Mazinam de Kano should think twice. It doesn't matter who you think you are. Nam de Kano have his own personal doctors. He trusts. Now, as he has so-called president, who claimed he has come to fight corruption, just like his predecessor did, said, I mean, ask him, 
What is corruption? Do you think corruption is all about oh, bribery? Or do you think corruption is all about oh, liquidating of people's resources and the money meant for something important? Eh? Duping innocent Nigerians? Putting them in suffering? Disobeying court order? From a constitution made by Nigerians, according to them, it's also a corrupt practice. So there is no how we are so called Ahmed Nibu will fight corruption. He should first of all start fighting the corruption from him himself because he was elected, not elected. Whatever he do is his own problem. All we are asking is he should respect himself and release the man that a court of law has discharged. If fully, he has come to rule with clear heart, even though he was elected, not elected. He should start from Blizzard Mazinam the Kano, that the court has set free, not about planning to use DSS to eliminate him in the name of ear surgery. That is the plan. Tomorrow you hear his flash, news flash. As he was being carried out and he had surgery, something went wrong and he died at the process. Go forbid! Our brother should wake up from their sleep. None the can must not carry out any year surgery in DSS detention. They should be talking about releasing him because he is a free man that the court of law has free. Sometimes when I look at the court, I laugh. They are cowards. They don't want to be the mismeet of any presidency. That is just it. Some of them have committed so many things that they are using to threaten them. And this is what you are seeing today. If not, why should the court of law set somebody free? And the man who calls himself a president continues to detain that man for no reason. Meaning that there's no need for the law then. There's no need for the law. If the law is meant for civilians alone, not for the government, the government continue to destroy that law. That is also corrupt practices, like I said. So anybody who came to claim he has come to fight corruption should start from his own home. Whether you president, a governor, or whatever you call yourself. Bola Metini Bush should stop beating around the bush. And Lismas Nam the Kano, if we don't fight her, that the court has set free. That is the only time we will know that he has come with clear heart to fight for corruption. Because what his predecessor did was corrupt. He disobeyed the court of law, the constitution made that they claimed that was made by the people of Nigeria. They don't have a single respect for that constitution, but they want the people to always obey the law and the constitution of Nigeria. Why they still continue to disobey that law? Nande Kano, like I said, has his own personal doctors. If he must carry out any operation in DSS dungeon, which is not supposed to happen, because they're supposed to lose him by now, he has not committed any crime. The law said it. And the law must obey all the time. They should allow him to discuss and talk to his own doctors. They should allow his own doctors to check him and see what the ear problem is all about. If he must be carried out any operation, surgery, that should not be in their cell dungeon. They should set him free while he carry out the surgery 
on his ear. Go and mark it one place. I've told you. Water, Buhari, deed is what Ahmed Nibu is trying to finish. But believe me, it's going to backfire them big time. I think I've made my point clear here. So any of Biafran people who is supporting anybody, who is planning to use DSS to carry out a surgery on Mars Namdekan of Shetan twice. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Biafran.